Welcome back to the video darkroom. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a motion graphics template with a stopwatch that displays hundredths of a second that you can use in Premiere. If you'd like to see the more detailed version of this that takes you through all of the parameters, then it's linked above just now. So for the short version, let's get started. Click on new composition. It doesn't matter what you call it. I'm making it 500 by 150 to create a small area where the stopwatch will be. It's important that you make a frame rate of 100 frames per second, and then that will be used to display the hundreds on the stopwatch. The duration should be the maximum length that you want your stopwatch to run for when you bring it in to Premiere. You can make it shorter than that, but that's the maximum length. So we click on OK and add a adjustment layer to this. And that's only used just for something to pin the timecode effect to it. We now go to effect and we can go to text and time code and we've added time code to this. I want to open up the adjustment layer, open up the effects, open up time code and I want to change the text size to 18. Move the time code into the middle. So I'm just moving it across like that. I held down shift to stop it moving vertically. And I now want to move the anchor point of the layer across to the right hand side because that will allow me to crop in from the left. So use the anchor point tool, click on the anchor point, drag it across to the right. Again, I'm holding down shift in order to make sure that it doesn't move vertically. That's everything that we need to do to make this time code work. You can see that as we scrub along, it moves. Now I open the essential graphics panel and give the Mogurt a name, called it short stopwatch. And if I click on solo supported properties, it opens up all the properties in this panel that we can use when we get into Premiere. So I want to move in the text color. I want to move in the show box, which will determine whether there we want a background or not. And if we do want the background, we can control the box color. And I just want one more thing, which is the scale of the adjustment layer. This is what we'll use to crop in. I want to click on the lock so that I can control vertical and horizontal scale separately and drag that in. We now have everything set up in the essential graphics panel and we can export the motion graphics template. After Effects always wants you to save before doing that. We can just save it with any name that we want. And now we can choose where we want it to go. I have a demo library set up, so we'll put it in there. Don't need to worry about keywords. And I'll just click on OK. We've now made the motion graphics template. It's available in the library for use in Premiere or in After Effects, as you wish. Well, we made the motion graphics template in less than two minutes. And I now just want to show you how to use it in Premiere. Mm -hmm. I have here this track animation. And um, I want to add the stopwatch so that it starts at this point. So I've got an empty track to put it into. Let's just go to Essential Graphics and Browse in the Demo Library. And we have Short Stopwatch. That's the one that we saved from before. So I can simply just take that and drag it onto Timeline. It's rather too big. So we take that, go to the Effects Controls. And I can take the scale down to the size that I want it to be, um, something like that. And I'm just going to click on motion and drag it up to where we want the stopwatch to appear. Now, it's still slightly big, so I'll just take it down maybe to about 180. And that's slightly better. It matches up with the text on the right hand side. OK, so I want to uh, go back into Essential Graphics. And in this case, I don't want to show the box. So that allows us to not overwrite the uh, what lies in below it. I'm going to and I'm going to change the time code color. Just click on the eyedropper and go there. We've got a stopwatch now that matches in with the rest of the frame. And there it goes. That's it basically running. Um, I do want to make the stopwatch appear on the screen earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, insert a frame hold segment at this point. And I'm going to move it back and move the stopwatch back and drag out the start of that to the beginning. And now what you can see as we go through is the stopwatch appears at zero. And at the point where we want it to start, which is just there, 
then the start, stopwatch starts to count down. Let me just have a look at that and play the demo now and see what happens. Two, one, go! And everything's happening correctly and the stopwatch is running. So I hope that you find that a useful demo. And if you want to see the longer version, it has been linked at the beginning and I'll link it in the closed screen for the end. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a like if you find it useful and subscribe to the Video Darkroom channel.